Hello, Jake of Future Past here, and it's exciting news. You know why? Because no more cold, no more condensation, no more hating life and not wanting to get out of bed. It's time to smack the diesel heater in. Whew. I'm buzzing about it, absolutely buzzing. And where is it going, Jake, you're asking me? Well, the bench, remember the bench? Under here it is going. And as this cuts off on a 45 degree angle, we're gonna have some heat shooting out of there. Electric system, batteries, flip this up. There's your batteries, and then we're going to chuck the diesel heater in there next to the earth. And then we're good to go. Let's get on it. But first thing first, I've got no 12 volt charging. So, in order to run the diesel heater, not only do you need diesel, but you also need a 12 volt supply. Which, as you can see, we don't currently have. So, I'm going to put one here. Let's do that now. You don't need to see that. Let's go. Done. Right, that is now the 12 volt system hooked up. Now that that's done and out of the way, diesel heater. What is in oh, the box? Well, first things first, that's not in the box. That was an optional extra that I grabbed myself off Amazon. And that's just uh, what they call a turret plate. So you cut a hole that size out the bottom of the van, slot this down, and then there's a perfect seal between the bottom of the diesel heater and the outside world. So there's no leaky fumes and all that good stuff going up into your vehicle, all out the bottom. Keeps it safe, keeps it clean, keeps it legit, bro. So in here, we've got a bag of expendables which are fuel filter the fuel line the outlet for the heating pipe jubilee clips fuel pipe i think i've already said that and the attachment clips for the electrics for the heater itself that's 12 volt which is why we've just hooked that up this is the internal diesel can you can plug this in and plug and play the actual unit off this if you want this is what i did in my old vehicle in the connect um, but I think they smell a bit and um, they can leak and you have to refill them. So I'm just going to plug it straight into the diesel tank of my van, so go on. What else have we got? One second, where's my optional? There we go. Okay. Exhaust pipe. Oh. Pipe for outletness, for heat. Baffle for the exhaust, stop it sounding like a flipping F1 circuit when you're trying to keep warm. Uh, air inlet pipe for the air inlet underneath the van. Because oh, it is an engine, the diesel heater is. That's all it is, just a mini engine that warms a core that then blows air through it using electric and it's basically a radiator on steroids. Cool, and then the, uh, the badger itself, the diesel heater. There she is, and I think that's a five kilowatt one. Um, beefy, beef city. Fuel pump, that goes in line, very good, very nice. And your control panel. Don't know where we're gonna mount that yet, but shears and gigs, shears and gigs. Very good, that's all. Well, you get the, that's the turret plate that comes with it, but they're not very good, so I won't bother. Get yourself one for like 30, 40 quid off Amazon. I think they're about 20 quid if they're stainless steel and you can spray them up so they don't stain because I don't think they're actually that good stainless steel. Or you can get the powder coated uh, black ones for like 40, 50 quid I think. I've just drilled a pilot hole through. Very good. Now, I need to cut a big old hole for this, which is this size. Look at the size of that piece. Right, it's got to be accurate because that's how they fit. The outer of this is only very slightly bigger than the outer of this. So we've got to get it bang on, really. Good to go, I think. Let's flip in, go for it. Am I even in the right hole? <laughs> That's what just dropped out. It's a lot thicker metal than I thought, to be fair. And there's the insulation on top. But yeah, careful with it, because it hurts. It's flipping wrist jolting and shoulder jolting, that is. That thing flying around, getting caught on metal and spinning this while you're going. So just go full whack, fast as you can, and then just sort of lightly press it on it. Don't press it, let the drill do the work, man. There we are, big hole in the floor. I've actually just sprayed around it just to stop the metal corroding and stuff like that. 
I'm going to put the turret plate in and then seal round it later on with uh, heat resistant silicon, which will be sound. And it's always going to get warm in there, so there's no real worry of rust. Turret plate in, easy as, just five screws. It's the next day. Um, it, it went a little bit off the deep end, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I realised that I couldn't get the receiver off, like the big uh, plate that basically goes down into the bottom of the tank. Um, so I've decided to hook up the bottle for now, um, like basically that gallon jug that I told we talked about earlier. That well, that's all hooked up now. It's good to go. <laughs> I've just I just went off the deep end with setting it up. This isn't a tutorial or anything anyway. It's just a bit of a journey of what the hell is actually going on while I'm trying to build this van, but. I'm really going to get some diesel now, we'll fill that up and then see if it actually works, but hopefully it does. Right, where's the Christmas bangers at? Because honestly, you get them all the way through November and then as soon as it's December, you don't flip and see one. Right, let's go and get some diesel. I know it's going in a petrol can rather than a diesel can, but I know, I'll, I'll write on it. You are? Oh. Okay, Dumbled up. Done. Driving home for Christmas, everybody. Hope you're all having a good one. <laughs> this is uh, Jake's Journey Made on BBC Radio Wob. Woo! Let's go. I'm back. Right, this is where we're at. Also, this is reality. Look at the state of what it means to actually be building on the road. Because there's just gear everywhere, and it just it's just how it is, because you're like tools, right, let's get that sorted, and this, that, and the other. And um, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up now, but I'll just run you through this quickly, and then let's chuck some diesel in it, and see if it works. Current state, there's the fuel tank. Pipe runs out the top, down there, through the fuel filter, through the diesel pump, down out the bottom, back up into the diesel eater. With me? Happy days. Turret plate underneath that, and then underneath you've got your exhaust pipe and your air inlet going out. I'll show you that once we've fired her up. And then there is your heat outlet. At some point, I'm gonna chuck this on to this side, and it'll sit down, facing downward like that, and it'll be beautiful. I'm gonna wait out on that though, to see if I can actually get it working, because I don't have a uh, like a cutting hole for that size, so I'll go and get one of those at some point. I cannot drop any of this fuel, because honestly, I am not having another van that smells like diesel. It annoys the hell out of me. And hopefully this tank don't smell like it. Because if so, I'm going to set fire to it and throw it off a cliff. We're good. We're not dripping. Not a single drop. So if it does stink a diesel around here, it's because something's leaking. I didn't mention the electrics to you. The electric connection hooks up there. I've then got the earth going down to the actual earth. Whether that will work or not, or whether the earth needs to be into that 12 volt panel i don't know but i guess we'll find out and then we've got this going up there that's the positive runs down the back of here around the back of there and into my 12 volt switchboard and then down here for the minute until we find somewhere to chuck it in place we've got our control panel slot this fuse in so we complete the circuit and our control panel light should be. there we go that comes on I'm just going to quickly Google how to prime the circuit, because I've done it before, but I can't remember, and then I'll get back to you. Right, I'm now an expert. Okay, so what we've got to do is press OK and down together. That'll come up with H off. you now got to press it up to H on. And there's your fuel pump. Can you hear it in the background? That's just initiated, and that's bringing fuel through the line. 
There she is. Look. There's the fuel coming down the line. Just there. There we go. You can see that now. It's filling up the fuel filter. That'll take a little while to fill up. And then it'll start drawing it through. And then Bob's your uncle. It'll pull it through there. Up into the diesel eater. And once it's done that bad boy. We're good. And we can fire her up. And then she's good to go. This is well exciting. You can finally get rid of that electric thing and bugger off from the drive. Get back out on the adventures, man. I need that. I need that in my life, man. Get into me this uh, city life, dude. Oh. Just stopped. It did just get into the fuel pump. So I'm presuming that's now the fuel pump primed. I've just fired her up. I can hear the fuel pump go in. I can hear the exhaust underneath. Bro, it's starting to blow warm already. Speeding up. It's doing its initial first process. Fucking power. Jesus Christ. Smells like a new radiator. Mate, that's blowing hot. That's blowing hot, boy. Woo! We got fire, baby. I feel like. You know what I feel like? I've just turned the I've just turned the electric one off. I feel like man has just made fire. Completed the electrical system by myself. Got the diesel eater in by myself. I'm proud of that, brother. I'm proud of that. Come on. Let's go and check it out underneath, make sure we're all good down there. Make sure nothing's blowing. You can hear it. There we are. Oh. Looks clean. No smoke. I'm well happy, man. You know what this means? Comfort on the road. I think maybe an investment at some point would be a quieter pump. Future me here, lads and ladies, gang. I don't think on a day like today that the quieter pump's gonna make a difference because that rain, it, it does your noggin in after a while. But I'm sat here, the diesel at working, puffing away, heating up this beautiful space. So I'm very happy with it, man. It's been performing amazing. I still need to get the pipe coming out of the wood uh, because I've got the actual cutter for it to fit into, but I don't have the actual drill bit to go through that. I did have it for the one that I used to cut out the big hole that goes at the bottom of the van. But um, yeah, that's now stuck in there. So I need another one of those to fit into that cutter so I can have the, the pipe coming out of the fascia of the, uh, the seat. And then I can sit on the seat while it's doing its thing. But yeah, that's all. We're up in the Lake District now and it is rainy, cold and a bit miserable, but it is stunning out there and it's actually quite nice to watch it from afar in here behind the glass with the diesel eater puffing away and it makes it cozier that when you do go out on those walks and get absolutely drenched that you can come back and enjoy the warmth that is the van now it's beautiful it's made life a lot more livable on the road we spent christmas out here and all that good stuff hope you all had an amazing christmas and looking forward to new years thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification on your own as soon as i upload a video peace one love.